football coach and a substitute special ed teacher, and you're also a huge lover of game shows. Big game show fan. Uh, ever since I was three uh, days old, my mother tells me that I used to laugh and cry with the sound effects on Wheel of Fortune. So Really? I know. It's in you. It's in your blood. The bankrupt noise goes, and I start crying. I don't know. <laughs> but your favorite game show has to be... Who wants to be a millionaire? There you go. All right, Chad. You're in. You're in. Let's take a look at the money right. in your round one. Here's the money. Now, computer, please randomize all of that money for us. That is all hidden. Now, here are the categories to your questions. Okay. And, computer, please randomize the questions. And now, let's see where your double money is. Oh, fourth one in. Very nice. I like it. Everything's all shuffled. Are you ready? I'm ready, Meredith. Then, let's play Millionaire. <laughs> Chad, which of these words can be used to describe both a deceitful trick and an ornamental pillow covering? Sham, hoax, fraud, ruse. I have an idea, but it's not strong enough. I mean, I hear sham and then I think sham wow. <laughs> I mean, but you wouldn't put that on a pillow. <laughs> I gotta ask the audience, Meredith. I'm not no really sure. No problem. Audience, Chad needs your help. On your keypads, vote now. A 95% believe it is sham, Chad. <laughs> I'd call that a pretty good number. Uh, yeah, I think I would too. I feel a little, you know, a little stupid, but that's okay. No, we'll, no, no. I know. Shouldn't. We'll go with A, sham, and we'll make it our final answer. You're a god. <laughs> Come on. I'm gonna start with. Yeah! Okay. Nice. <laughs> Take it. Oh, the audience came through for you yes, big time on that one. Mail call is the next category. Okay. Though its editorial staff currently includes women, what magazine publishes its letters to the editor by having them all addressed to Sir? Esquire, National Geographic, The Economist, Popular Mechanics. Again, I don't know. I mean, it, I think Esquire might make sense. I mean, National Ge Geographic, Popular Mechanics, The Economist is another one I'm thinking of. I mean, I don't think of any traditional female economists. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to jump. I'm going to jump the question. Okay. Question is out of play. Let's see the correct answer. Okay. It was The Economist. All right. I probably would have went with A, so that's good. Okay, good. Let's, Let's see how much money is behind this question. What did you forfeit as a result of jumping? Okay, 1, good. I like it. Not that works so for me. Money. Yeah. And by jumping the question, as you know, you're one question yeah. closer to a million. Yeah. Now just 12 away. One question away also from double money. Yeah. Latin for Swedes. Fittingly, the name of the car company Volvo translates from Latin as what? I fly, I roll, I jump, I slide. Well, I don't think cars fly or jump or slide. I'm gonna go with B, I roll, final answer. It is I roll. Right. You're scaring me, my goodness. <laughs> Let's see how much money is behind this question, please. Yeah! studio audience and audition to be on the show. Go to MillionaireTV.com and sign up now. Welcome back to Millionaire. It is Double Your Money Week, and that Double Your Money question is coming up next to Chad Moser from Flint, Michigan. We mentioned when we first met you that you love game shows. Yep. What do you think about this double money that we've added to the game? Uh, for me, I think it's pretty darn good. <laughs> <laughs> well, we hope so. Yeah. Let's, say, let's take a look at your board for a second. You've got $25,000 at this point. Okay. Just three questions in, 11 away from a million. And your next question, as we have said, is the double money yes. one. Could be worth up to $50,000. All right. Are you ready? I guess I am. All right, then let's play. <laughs> 
dystopian society of Fahrenheit 451, which of these businesses would be burned to the ground? Raymore and Flanagan, Abercrombie and Fitch, Smith and Walensky, Barnes and Noble. Well, I'm pretty sure that Fahrenheit 451 was all about book burning. So the only logical choice here, I believe, would be D, Barnes and Noble. Final answer. You're going to double your money yes. right here. Yeah. Barnes and Noble. Come on, 25. Come on, 25. 25. How much money is behind this question? Show me 25. Yes! So much money. <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, seventy-five thousand dollars in that if, bank. Even if, even if you have it, that's a heck of a lot of money. If you have it, it's thirty-seven thousand five hundred. A heck of a lot of money. Yeah, you're twenty-one years old. Chad, I want to remind you, you still have a lifeline. Yes. You're in great shape. Ten away from a million dollars. <laughs> God, I love millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> Now you do. <laughs> children's games is the next category. Which of these children's games is also known as monkey in the middle? Hide and seek, keep away, hopscotch, red rover. Well, keep away, there's somebody in the middle. You're tossing things back and forth. That would be the monkey in the middle. Red rover, you're running back and forth. Hopscotch, that's the chalk lines. Hide and seek, no, it's B, keep away, final answer. You knew it from yes. the start. <laughs> Chad Mosier, what a great day you are having. My goodness. You got your double money question. Actually, we were going to pop it up. It was 25000 double to 50000 You look a little happy at that moment. Well, how often do you win 50 grand in 20 seconds? Uh, never, never. And I love that your buds are so happy, too, AJ and They're Ryan. They're good friends. What can I say? Very good buddies. Well, Chad, you don't even have to walk away. But at this point, if you did, you have 39000 If That's, that's half of 78000 which is great that's money. incredible. But you're not going to walk away because you still have a lifeline yes, nine yes. away from a million, right. five away from round two. At that point, you keep everything in your bank. All Am right. I correct? You are correct. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> I you know ready? the rules. Are you ready to play? I'm so ready. I am so ready. Let's play. All right, Chad. Maine is linguistically unique because it is the only U.S. state with what? One syllable, the letter N, Three vowels, five letters. Okay, well, we can knock off D because Texas has five letters. The letter N, Michigan has the letter N. Three vowels. You have Louisiana, O, U, and A, at least with the I. And Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, Idaho, <laughs> Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, Nevada, Nevada. I'm not, I'm not risking my money, Meredith. No, no, no. <laughs> Keep going. New this. Hampshire, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, North Carolina, North Dakota, Ohio, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Vermont, Virginia, Washington, West Virginia, Wisconsin, Wyoming. The only one that makes sense is one syllable. <laughs> Final answer. What I can't figure out is how you didn't know sham in the beginning, and you know this stuff. <laughs> Bucks yeah, behind I this hard seven thousand. That you sure did. How much money is behind this question? Yeah.